Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wolf back again with another video. Um, everyone's been asking, how can you make the structure deck better? Well, the first structure deck I'm going to show you how to make better is going to be the Magician's structure deck. Now, me and my friend was in a Discord call playing Master Duels. He just so happened to be on ranked and just so happened to face this deck. It's not my deck list. I don't take credit for it. We don't have the opponent's name, unfortunately, to give him credit if he is the creator. Or if you know who the creator is, please credit them in the comments below. Um, this deck is very budget friendly. It was able to hold its own against a top tier meta deck and beat it. Yeah, my friend did lose. Um, and so if you don't know, you could go into your match history and click on your opponent and then click confirm opponent's deck list. And you can actually see their deck. And so that is exactly how we got this list right here. I'm going to try to be concise in this video i'm going to try to keep this video short but i'm also going to try to be as helpful as possible so i'm not going to go over every single card and its importance but i am going to go over the important cards to the deck i'm going to go over what you're looking to do turn one and turn two and i'm going to go over some of the strong combos and what you could be building upon and leading up to so i'm going to try to break this video down into its timestamps this being the intro next timestamp should be the deck list after that should be what the deck is looking to do and then after that is going to be combos so without further ado let's get into the deck list you're going to be playing dragon pit magician at one max c at one you can up this to three and cut the ash blossom or you could cut this one max c completely i would make this the last ur that you craft perform pal odd eyes synchron at two time gazer magician at one ash blossom at three perform pal pendulum sorcerer at two wisdom eye magician at three luster pendulum the draco slayer at one perform pal skull crowbat joker at three harmonizing magician at two double iris magician at one black fang magician at two purple poison magician at three Perform Pal Celestial Magician at 1, Stargazer Magician at 1, Oath Dragon Magician at 3, Chronograph Sorcerer at 1, Astrograph Sorcerer at 1, Duelist Alliance at 3, Star Pendulum Graph at 1, Wavering Eyes at 2, Called by the Grave at 2, Time Pendulum Graph at 1. And that's going to do it for the core deck. And the great thing about the core deck is that you can get all of these cards from two places, excluding the hand traps and called by the grave. You can get them from counter swing mages secret pack. Or you could, of course, get them from the structure deck. So you're going to be looking to get them from the structure deck or the counter swing mages secret pack. And you can get every single card in this core deck that way, excluding the hand traps that you'll have to craft or get the Ash Blossom out of the bundle and the call by the grave. But the great thing is those are going to be staples that you can splash into any deck. So at some point, you would want to craft them anyway. For the extra deck, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon at 1, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom at 2, TG Wonder Magician at 1, Metaphys Horus at 1, Shooting Riser Dragon at 1, Ignister Prominence at 1, Supreme King Dragon Clearwing at 1, Time Star Magician at 1, Number 41, Bagushka at 1, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon at 1, Number 38 at 1, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite at 1, Christian Hawk at 1, and then Borosaur Dragon at one so that's going to do it for the deck list now let's get into what the deck wants to do so what the deck wants to do is you want to be able to set the scales with a, a one and the eight to then special summon you special summon level fours to get your time star out or to get your baguska out you can special summon level sevens which is astrograph sorcerer and Dragon Pit Magician, if you want to get out Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, which he's going to be the condition that you need to bring out Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. 
don't believe there's any other way to do it currently in the deck, but there are other cards that are pendulums that can bring out Vortex Dragon that you maybe you want to add. Maybe you cut the max C and add that in. This is just to get you started. However you feel you want to customize the deck once you get comfortable, please feel free to do so. It's not set in stone. And these are also rare, so they're going to be easy. Crafting the extra deck is probably going to be where the bulk of the crafting comes from. But back to what the deck wants to do. So you want to bring out the, those cards to special summon. You can bring out a tuner and whatever level you need to get into your synchro summons. As well as some of the cards themselves just have very strong effects when they are summoned or special summoned. So that is what the deck is looking to do. Um, you, you're looking to turbo out monsters essentially, and the deck does that pretty well. Turbo out monsters and gain hand advantage and add in toolbox. How does the deck do that, and what are some of the combos of the deck? Let's get into it. So, Duelist Alliance is going to be kicking off a lot of the combos of the deck. If there is a card in the pendulum zone, add one pendulum monster or pendulum spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Now, you can add in Star Pendulum Graph or Time Pendulum Graph that way. So, there are one of that you can easily grab with this. You could add your one of Time Gazer Magician if you need to set the scales with eight. You can grab your Purple Poison Magician. Purple Poison Magician is probably going to be the card you always want in your opening hand or want to grab. Not only does it set the scales with one, but it also is a really strong card. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one face up card on the field and destroy it. Once per turn, if your dark spell caster type monster battles before a damage calculation, you can activate this effect. That monster gains 1200 attack. Then destroy this card. So it destroys itself to gain that effect. And you can also destroy it with other cards that you have to gain that effect in case you need to pop a card on the board. So you're looking to start off with Duelist Alliance to then set the scales, grab what you need, set the scales with Purple Poison Magician ideally, and maybe Time Gazer Magician or Dragon Pit Magician to then Special Summon something maybe you have both in hand and you grab something special summon and then a great if you're going second we'll start with going second if you're going second you're going to want to go into heavy metal foes electromite now if this card is linked summon you can add one pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up that's very important so because for the other part of the ability, you're going to be able to add that to the hand. So whatever you want to add to the hand is what you're going to be wanting to put in that extra deck face up. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control. Destroy it. Purple Poison Magician. Hopefully you're seeing the combos here. Then add one face up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. So that same card you put in your extra deck or maybe something else you could add to your hand. And if a card in your pendulum zone leaves the field, draw one card. So let's go over that. Just on summoning, you can add a pendulum from your deck to your extra deck face up. His other effect, destroy a card. Then add that pendulum monster or add a pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. It's got to be face up. As well as if a card in your pendulum zone leaves, which it did leave because you destroyed it, draw one card. So you gain two cards to hand, and you can even get Purple Poison Magician's effect of popping a card on your opponent's side of the board. So that's going to be able to not only clear or help clear your opponent's board, give you hand advantage, and set you up with cards that you want in your hand to then be able to go into more combos and try to set up a better board, especially if you're going second to either lethal your opponent or leave them limping. Also, another thing to note with Time Gazer Magician, if you choose to use him like first to set up things, you can activate his effect while you control no monsters. If a pendulum monster you control battles, your opponent cannot activate trap cards. So he's protection. He's going to be really good. You're going to be looking to go into him a lot of the times and activate that effect to stop battle traps or anything that would disrupt you, especially if you're going second. You can also go in second or even going first. You could do this first or second set up an Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon somehow pop him get him off your board because him leaving the field lets him summon odd eyes vortex dragon 
which I believe is the only way to get Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon out. And as long as you have a face up Pendulum Monster in your extra deck, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon once per turn, quick effect can negate a spell, trap, or monster effect activation. Also, when this card is special summon, you can target one opponent's face up attack position monster, return it to the hand. So it's great going second. Uh, if your opponent tries to negate the effect with a hand trap, you can negate it with his own ability. It's even great to end the board on going first because when your opponent plays a monster and tries to activate the effect, you can negate it and disrupt. Now going first, you could again go into that, the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon with Absolute Dragon, or you could go into Christian Hauk going first because during your opponent's turn, even during the battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card you control, especially some of one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. You have some pretty good tuner synchro monsters to go into. Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. When he synchro summon, destroy all face of monsters your opponent control. So that's also one thing to keep in mind, especially if you're going first with the Hulk. And then also if you're going second, you could board clear instantly if you go into him as a synchro. Um, let's see. Ignister, you can target one. He's not really gonna be real that you go into off the hawk, especially if you're on your opponent's turn and they're going second. Um, you can maybe go into the Metaphys Horus, because if this card is synchro something you can activate. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't be able to go into him. But TG Wonder Magician isn't bad if this card is synchro summon target one spell or trap on the field, destroy that target. If this card on the field is destroyed, draw one card. Once per chain during your opponent's main phase, you could quick effect immediately after this effect resolve, synchro summon using this card you control. Now I know what you're saying. How would you be able to synchro summon using that without a tuner on board? Boom. If this card is link summon, you can special summon one level three or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position. Perform power odd eyes. Level five, you can make a level seven shooting riser dragon. It will be your only way or only card to go into. But if this card is synchro summon, you can send one monster from your deck to your graveyard whose level is lower than this card on the field. And if you do reduce this card's level by that monsters, but the rest of the turn you can activate the effects of monsters with the same name sent to the graveyard. You can only shoot a star once per turn. Main phase, you can quick effect immediately after the effect resolves. Synchro summon using this card you control. So you can see the deck gets into a lot of quick synchros, uh, immediate resolutions, a lot of the stuff you could do on your opponent's turn. So that's going to be some strong combos going first that hopefully disrupts your opponent and or gives you enough protection to survive the turn to make it back to your turn. And then going second, like I said, having Metal Force Electromite um, is very strong in setting you up for card advantage, setting you up to pop your own cards to get effects and a lot of the things that kick off these combos duelist alliance can kick off the combo um your one ups here chronograph sorcerer or astrograph sorcerer can destroy themselves in the pendulum zone to then add a time gazer if it's chronograph or add a stargazer if it's uh astrograph which sets the scales so if you need a level one but you only have astrograph sorcerer and you don't want to want to use that you want to use the stargazer a reason to use the Stargazer over the Astrograph in the Pendulum Zone is if a Pendulum Monster you control battles, your opponent can activate spell cards until the end of damage step. So protection. These offer protection, which is a reason to use it over these themselves. And you're going to want to try to almost always combo that with Purple Poison Magician. Other cards to note, call by the grave. If your opponent is using a monster from the grave, you can banish it and then they won't be able to use that effect. Or any monster effect that has that name so that's also going to be great obviously your hand traps are going to be great to use and then that pretty much does it that's as short and concise as i can make it if you guys got any tips on how i could be even more helpful or deliver information even better please let me know um hopefully this gets you started hopefully this gives you a clear idea or sparks an idea of your own on how to make the structure deck better and be on the lookout for the utopia structure deck and how you can make that one better as well hopefully you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe if you did and until next time wolf out